All right, guys. In the previous video, we created this button, um, and in this one, we are going to create these cards. But the data for these cards will not uh, be coming from a static thing. We are going to use a JSON placeholder for this. So we can use um, posts for this. Uh, I, am, I am inclined towards using uh, photos. Now, photos is uh, uh, is huge but i think uh, we, we can we can still use it because it has a title and also a uh, url which is uh, more than enough i think because uh, here in in here uh, we can have a title and maybe uh, there's no description of that maybe we can have that as a title uh, we can provide a custom title and instead of this uh, green squares here we can actually show an actual image uh, from some random image right so let's let's see how to do that now um, so this api we can easily fetch it on client side in in here but there are better ways of doing it but i will still uh, use the method uh, of getting it client side and see why it is not the best way now, in order to get it, we will have a function of some kind. So, const uh, get, uh, we'll call this posts or something. And um, so, we will make this uh, asynchronous. We are going to use uh, await here. So, const response equals await fetch and this photos. Now this is going to be huge, uh, but I don't think that's going to be a problem. So let, let it be huge. So const data equals await response.json okay. and console.log data. So maybe we want to return data as well. Okay, so this is await. So what I'll do is I'll invoke it here, get course, and see if we get it. I mean, it, it could be a promise at this moment, but it's it's fine. Now let's go to our page here. Oh, we are getting it. All the 5,000 of those. Uh, okay. We refresh. Ah, okay. Yeah, maybe it's, it's huge for us. It's okay. Uh, what I will do is uh, const filter data equals data dot uh, slice maybe zero comma three is that how we do it I don't know so I'll just uh, I may have to console log that Wait. yeah we got just three so this is enough for now um okay get post is working but uh, it's better to do uh on mount use an on mount function sometimes you know it may not it may return a promise so if you want to be sure you get data so we use an asynchronous uh, thing here and then we do const or let post and let it be an empty array now inside we do let sorry posts equals get posts maybe a wait okay. now that should give us post so if i console it console log posts yeah it is giving us um, okay now let me go here I will do uh, each loop and show them, right? So each uh, post. Now I'm, I'm using post and all this. Now, if I don't want to use all that, so there is something called await in uh, Svelte, which can be used. So we can invoke the function here itself, get post. Now, while it is uh, loading, we can show a message like, loading once it is done 
we can do something like uh, then and what do you want to uh, initialize this as data and then you can uh, when and end this await now here we'll have access to data so if i do json on stringify data so i should have those three posts here itself so if you look at this so i'm having those three posts here i can remove this console now now i see this uh, uh title and url and thumbnail url okay so maybe that is enough for me data as title and url so it was an array right so why am i using it like now treating it like an object each so here i don't want data dot i just want url and title now it should yeah awesome okay now this uh div can be uh, grid maybe so i'll style the grid dot red we call uh, grid template column if you're not sure you know you can use something like bootstrap or tailwind or something that will do repeat three times one fraction so it's gonna it's gonna do that i think here i'll have another div here Side. grid uh, grid should be outside Did it happen? This is a single grid. Grid template columns. It says something. Okay, display grid. I didn't, I didn't do that. That was silly. So display grid is important there. Yeah, so we have it. So before that, we might want to enclose this in a container. Okay, now it looks quite okay. And okay, see at this point, so it's it's getting bigger and bigger and it's making this file complicated. So it's it's a good way, uh, maybe a good practice to move this into a different component altogether. But before that, I'll show you a few ways of getting this uh, data. So I'm gonna have P, I'm gonna have here. Yeah, so we are gonna get it. We're gonna get the title as well. Um, uh, image might need some kind of uh, width here. Should be hundred percent. So let's say, and I think it's gonna expand that. So we'll do object fit cover object position center. Now after this, we'll also have a gap here of two. Okay. Now uh, to this grid, maybe we want some kind of padding. Uh, padding. Two em zero. So top and bottom will have two em of padding. So this looks quite okay we might wanted a different i mean a bigger height maybe so 250 uh not quite right it should be 300 at least yeah 300 seems fine and title and then there is button so i'll get to that but before that so since we already fetched it I'll show you this way of fetching it. So let post equals this and then using instead of in this case we can completely avoid using uh post and await, which is not a bad thing, you know, you can still use it. So here we can use posts. Okay. Uh, did something go wrong? This div was left open. Is that so? Yeah. 
this so. Okay. Post uh, implicitly. Um, I mean, it, it will get that data. So eventually, so if I refresh. Um, yeah, it will get the data eventually. Now, but if I look at the source, uh, we will not have that initially because if you look at this, the container for uh, it's it's empty, right? Initially, it won't be there. Even in uh, you know the await block that we used, even there, uh, it will not be like you know uh, server rendered. Uh, there is only loading because at that point, loading is only there. Now, what we usually want. Uh, is maybe uh, not this we want it to be uh, in the source code uh, when we view the source in such cases you will have to move this to a page.js now it is just uh, maybe you can call this a loader um, so let's let's add that for this route so we can have something like plus page.js right so we can have a load function here export const load it used to be in the same file before same file as a svelte file it has changed now it has its own different file and it's actually good and the return has been improved a lot now i'll get this uh, entire thing this is no longer needed to here and then i'll return uh, posts get posts okay i'll invoke it here now what happens uh, this will be so as i rendered so but you have to get it right so uh, you should make data accessible from this component so that way data will be updated if i do console.log data so instead i'll, I'll just uh, remove this for now comment this out because post is not defined now let me look at what we get post is you know these three right so how we can get that it's const post equals data <clears throat> so it's destructuring you can also do data dot posts that is also fine you can do this uh, if you want to do this in a reactive way you can use this method uh, you will have to cover the entire thing in brackets like this uh, this is also possible which is not required at this moment i mean it will it will not be empty or it will not be undefined at this moment so it's fine i'm gonna uncomment this and it should it should get us this now if i go to view source and refresh i have the you know have this uh, filled up and all this data is already there so this is useful in case of SEO. So you want something to be read by the bots uh, for uh, SEO friendliness uh, that will happen. So yeah. Okay. So this is this is one way of doing it. Uh, now let me go to the network tab. Network tab. Let me load this again. Okay. Okay. Now you see this here. Um, so it, this request, it's a fetch request, photos, and we see that, you know, where it is going, right? Which API it is making the request from. Now, in some cases, you might not want uh, the user to see it. In such cases, you can just run this in server by renaming this to server.js, page.server.js. All right. Uh, this isn't going to change much in our, uh, you know, uh, how the page looks, but it's just that even if you look at all these things, how it is loaded, uh, you will not be able to, uh, you know, find out where this data is being loaded so that the particular fetch function will not be available here. So it happens in the server and our uh, server -side rendering or SSR, we call it, still going to be there. Okay. So that's that's one way. I mean, if you want to hide uh, certain things from people that your you know, API, if, if you don't want anyone to use it or abuse it, 
you can you can use it in server and it should be safe but it's it's better to use environment variables and have your token and everything saved there all right so that's uh that's few ways to fetch data from an api okay so there will be more of those uh in the next one probably we will uh use this you know uh, create or build this contact form and in while building contact form we'll try to explore swell actions all right thanks guys i'll see you in the next one bye bye